understanding the mechanics of uh, mechanics for uh, performance and operations improvement apakah mechanic what is it uh, in uh, performance betul ke kita pakai perkataan KPI almost in everywhere saja-saja biasa je loosely we use the word KPI but for performance consultant kita tak pakai perkataan KPI loosely we differentiate mana satu KPI mana satu deliverables mana satu target mana satu goals ya we understand all this clearly most importantly Uh, kat mana kita nak guna uh, this uh, apa uh, terms and also how to work from all these numbers uh, uh, buat situational assessment get your gap and then design your solutions uh, so that is how it works okay so this is uh, fundamentals text textbook lah ya so uh, since uh, last week We have done uh, all this uh, module yang color uh, purple ni. Um, today we're going to do the one in yellow color performance setting and performance diagnostic KPI and scorecard. Uh, I I want most of you to ask question because you dah belajar banyak dah tentang macam mana nak uh, improve performance. Now I want you to to start uh, give me question uh, how do you understand performance how do you understand uh, apa kerja-kerja uh, consultant ni di dalam uh, membaiki performance okay so this is the time that i expect more interactions write down your question kalau you uh, apa saya tengah mengajar you don't want to interrupt you write first and then uh, you can ask okay so um And then tomorrow, baru kita nak belajar turning data into critical information. Bila you dah faham semua teknik apa semua, esok yang kali hijau baru kita nak belajar how would you present your data analysis and findings. Ya? Macam mana you nak buat ni gaya seorang consultant lah. Okay, alright. So, um, today you, after this one hour training, you will be able to explain what is operating model and the mechanics of operations. We talk specifically module-module uh, yang uh, you belajar ni uh, to improve most of uh, tactical and operations punya performance. Yeah? We are not using tools that is for strategic direction. So kalau you tengok dalam series kita ni, kita tak belajar SWOT analysis, kita tak belajar pastel analysis, semua tu not uh, in the scope of operations. Semua tu adalah ada scope lain. Eh? So for the whole the series uh, that you learn, it's for uh, operation and you will learn what is. Uh, orang kata operation ni apa? Uh, kita tengok satu syarikat tu, Uh, dia ingat operation ni yang jaga warehouse, yang jaga production Sedangkan dalam syarikat dia tu 60% daripada uh, tenaga kerja dia Atau 70% dari tenaga kerja dia buat sales Katakan eh? So dalam syarikat yang 60-70% dia punya manpower buat sales Operation dia sales lah uh, And yang duk jaga operation, uh, production warehouse tu namanya supply chain So tak semua syarikat yang operasinya adalah supply chain atau manufacturing uh, Walaupun ada fungsi-fungsi itu -fungsi dalam dia punya syarikat So understanding uh, what is operation to uh, each of uh, organization is key hmm. Yeah. Okay, next is you will be able to explain what's the differences between goal, target, KPI dalam konteks uh, operation Okay um, And then you will be able to construct a key performance indicator logic tree. Macam mana kita nak buat KPI? Macam mana kita nak uh, 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 design uh, the right KPI? And uh, when you want to monitor and uh, the KPI, uh, what are you using? Are you using dashboard? Are you using cockpit? Are you using workstation? Macam-macam konsep yang ada. So uh, apa? You will uh, you will uh, use this. Uh, to uh, put all the performance in one uh, good uh, textbook lah uh, Habis ni kira you dah selesai dah, you dah boleh jadi uh, internal consultant for performance uh, improvement Nak jadi external consultant pun boleh, bukan tak boleh ya. Eh? <laughs> Saja saya letak tajuk tu internal consultant sebab most of you who come to this training are employed by some companies kan 
Uh, so internal consultant pun betul, external consultant pun boleh ya. Alright, now let's get back to our Kunufon framework. I would really like to uh, map everything to this Kunufon framework. Sebab uh, this has to be the paradigm or the context that yang kita uh, gunakan tools-tools ni dan proses-proses ni duduk di dalam konteks mana. So for performance, improvement or performance operation, which which uh, apa quadrant do you think uh, we are dealing with? Can anybody answer me? Kita hari-hari you can tengok me. Anybody want to try? Complicated. Complicated, okay. Alright. Uh, you, are, you are right, yeah. Uh, maksudnya, <coughs> bila sesuatu perkara itu duduk di dalam kuadran uh, simple, maksudnya dia punya uh, cycle sudah smooth. Okay, alright. However, for us to impact the the performance, kita mesti kan pecah dia balik untuk duduk di bawah complicated. Ya, Jangan kita deal dia seperti kita deal operation issue. Maksud kata di sini, when you are a performance consultant, you always take a helicopter and move one layer up. Yeah, so we are not talking about just improving checklist, improving SOP, yeah, improving uh, apa uh, discipline, uh, apa tukar daripada uh, punch card kepada tam punya apa. Kita tak tak bercerita level-level uh, tu punya improvement. We are talking about how uh, we can affect the whole value chain and make our business give a better result. So we are uh, around this uh, premise ya. Yeah? Agak complicated sikit ya. Yeah? Okay. Alright. So now uh, let me align uh, you to the uh, overall uh, performance ni ya. Yeah? So bila kita kata managing performance, there are a few uh, other elements that you must put together. Okay. Uh, when kita, uh, first thing first is about setting the KPI and performance measure which you will learn today with me. Okay. And once you have set the uh, measures, the next thing is for you to always have the performance dialogue. Performance dialogue means uh, you establish platform and also a dashboard for your management and your team to discuss about the performance gap ataupun your achievement uh, atau setting atau yeah, this is the performance dialogue which uh, in our company what we have uh, designed is the meeting platform. Okay, the meeting platform. So for OH staff, uh, saya nak cari HOD, Olive House, uh, hmm, siapa kat sini? Hmm. Okay, Habis saya nak Kak Rod lah. Kak Rod ada? Ah, Kak Rod. Kak Rod ada? Okay, Kak Rod is not responding yet. Uh, siapa ada kat sini? Hmm. Farid ada, Liza ada. Farid, okay Farid. Farid. Kalau you uh, realise every month dekat Olive House, kita ada meeting platform. Can you name me a few of meeting platform yang you dah uh, you hadir dan you kena present you punya performance? Can you share with us? Okay, uh, satu kita ada COE meeting okay. dengan MC meeting. Alright, so what do we discuss in COE meeting? Okay, dalam dalam apa COE meeting tu kita present, uh, kita pergi inisiatif untuk dapatkan approval lah. Whereby mm -hmm. dalam MC meeting tu kita present kita punya kita punya performance uh, ataupun kita punya update uh, activity the past of the month. Okay, good. Ah uh, Liza, Liza ada? Yeah, ya, Okay, Liza. So di dalam uh, kita punya meeting tu, uh, what do you see? What happen? What is the activity inside the the meeting tu? Presentation and discussion. Okay, what do we present? Uh, macam Cik Farid cakap tadi, mm -hmm. meeting regarding uh, uh, report, previous report yang kita dah buat. 
Maksudnya okay. mungkin teman uh, apa report kita Jadi bagus okay. ataupun tak Alright, so what happen uh, apa uh, bila uh, you present contoh ya yeah? uh, What happens there? Um, anybody ask you question or give you feedback? Actually saya tak pernah attend MC meeting Okay, but dalam PPE? Uh, dalam PPE itself kita ada, kita tak ada meeting yang It just <laughs> macam <laughs> Okay, tanya you setelah Okay, let me ask uh, uh, Yusri. Uh, you, which meeting that you play critical role? Uh, MGO. Okay, so what happens in MGO? Uh, we present uh, each update and performance for okay. review by the management. Alright, so what does the management uh, did uh, to your presentation? What do they do? What do they say? They give inputs uh, on and uh, guidance lah, anything in terms of initiatives. So they are the uh, they measure our KPIs. Okay, all right. So the management or the people inside the meeting is giving the right feedback and some give coaching lah of how things should be improved. You know, and uh, at certain points, if when things fail uh, badly, contohnya yang kita letak uh, element yang warna merah atau warna kuning. Sometimes it's so serious, the management would uh, identify terus what is the consequence of people not meeting that KPI. So you see all these uh, happening in most of our meeting. Yeah, and when you say you are using the presentation, to you are visualizing uh, the the KPIs or the results. Yeah. So kita tengok macam-macam lah setiap uh, department tu dia kreatif buat cara macam-macam. But uh, for us to uh, make sure our performance ni mudah di compute di dalam otak kita The best thing to have is somehow like a dashboard macam tu Macam kita bawa kereta kan, kita familiar dengan dashboard kereta kita Sekali kereta kita tak boleh pakai, kita pinjam kereta abang kita ke uh, kita punya uh, address Kita tengok dashboard tu berbeza, kena pula kereta tu di import dari Jepun Semuanya ditulis Jepun dan kita haram pun tak faham bahasa Jepun. So when the dashboard keep on changing, setiap kali meeting kita tukar, tukar, tukar. Dia tidak konsisten. So the team inside the meeting akan hadapi sedikit uh, problem untuk dia digest the information faster. So that is why when we have dashboard or KPI dashboard tu kita buat template supaya every time uh, kita hanya uh, fokus on indicating which one is red, yellow and green ya. Yang mana satu green tu selalunya kita pakai untuk bagi tahu things are okay. Yang kuning tu selalu kita bagi tahu ada isu sikit. Yang merah tu maksudnya kita nak management tu intervene. Uh, so so that is visual management ya. So dalam kita uh, bila kita tengok ni kita kita boleh merasakan bahawa uh, bila kita drive business kita dia memang seperti kita drive kereta tu sendiri ya. Uh, so it has its indicator and it has um, uh, a lot of information and how you respond to the information di dalam performance. So that is how uh, apa orang kata uh, a KPI and performance ni make sense for us to manage performance uh, di dalam uh, our operation. Okay. Now terms used loosely uh, in uh, apa uh, operational context uh, dalam performance context. Ada orang pakai goal, target, KPI output dan deliverables ya. Uh, setengah orang semuanya dia sebut KPI. Dia pergi belajar KPI semua benda dia kata KPI. Objektif pun dah jadi KPI. But after you graduate from this uh, uh, apa session, I want you to use KPI more uh, orang kata apa more exclusively ya. For things that you understand well, that you are talking about the operation performance. Okay? Because if in the dashboard, you tengok, uh, setiap kereta, dia hanya ada 4-5 key features sahaja kat dashboard tu. Kalau nak tengok lain, dia dah kena tekan macam-macam to look at other information. So, uh, what I'm trying to say, uh, we do not uh, put uh, uh, everything in our 
uh, dashboard. Uh, means here KPI itu bukanlah untuk semua benda yang kita buat di dalam syarikat kita. Hanya ada certain sahaja yang mempunyai key lever ataupun yang mempunyai impact yang tinggi di mana kalau kita buat sesuatu perubahan kita akan nampak dia punya uh, impact pada bisnes yang itu sahaja yang kita nak highlight sebagai KPI. Yang lain contohnya bila kita buat inisiatif kita buat deliverables bukan KPI. Kalau kita duduk di dalam departemen kita masing-masing ada SIPOC kan? SIPOC customer output process input dengan supplier we are talking about Uh, output. Ya yeah. and then uh, bila kita buat uh, inisiatif seperti uh, campaign, we are talking about targets and uh, when we talk about uh, the goal yeah, as a team, what is our goal? So you are talking about the achievement. So these are uh, usually used very loosely but uh, Uh, as somebody who are learned in this area, we hope that you know exactly when to use KPI and when to use the rest. So we'll go on KPI today, okay? Okay, let me bring you back. Ambil lagi helikopter tadi tu, naik lagi dua tiga tingkat to look at uh, business from uh, the overview. So remember, module ni module kosong satu. Okay, jadi you will see that I will cover a lot of uh, the baseline or the basic textbook on Uh, before you go for uh, situational assessment, problem statement, tu semua you dah, you dah, 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 I dah cover with you so you should be able to do the uh, improvement. But making sense of what is this in the whole uh, bigger picture will make you uh, able to give a more strategic input uh, and high impact input to your management. Eh? First, a business must have its purpose. Why does it exist? Mana kita jumpa business new purpose? Dekat Ya, yeah, mission statement Ya, yeah, dekat vision statement nah, That is where you see the purpose of the business Why do you exist? Banyak orang tanya saya ya, waktu-waktu COVID ni Puan, macam mana saya nak buat business recovery? Macam mana saya nak buat uh, business continuity? Um, I will always uh, tell them, use this time to reflect. What is your business purpose? Why do you run this business at the first place? Okay, kalau you run the business just for money, then uh, it's an easy uh, answer that, you know, this business doesn't work, you change business lah, go and get money lah. Because if that is your purpose, yeah. But if your purpose is bigger and higher than making money means you make money for some other uh, mission that you want macam contohnya kita di Olive House we want to do afiat agenda lah change community lah change uh, people's behavior in food intake intake lah banyak dia punya higher purpose so you have to uh, go to this drawing board and you know put uh, things back so the purpose must be strong enough kalau ingat kita punya influence model influence model lah uh, yang kat sini ni apa siapa ingat Conviction. Yeah, conviction. Yeah, kena. Yes. yes. So the purpose is the conviction tu sebenarnya. So if you have people who join your company just to get salary or just to uh, gain experience, uh, semuanya untuk diri dia je, you will not have a strong team member. Team member yang tak commit dan tak boleh bagi commitment then it is not the company strength walaupun you have numbers. Dua orang ni kalau you bawa pergi perang bila time nak berhadapan dengan musuh dia orang akan belah dulu. Ya, yeah? kalau dia orang stay dengan syarikat kita pun sebab tak ada tempat lain dia orang pergi kerja. So People who are in your organizations who buy into the purpose is the company strengths yeah so that is about uh, uh, why do you exist and we learn the influence model uh, hari tu kita tahu this goal on that quadrant okay now when you have the purpose the next thing is to um, to operate the, your business lah kan so the first thing you have to clarify is the business model 
how do you you know what do you do with uh, your business ni uh, to get uh, your apa your um, uh, money lah ya yeah? so we can say that about this level and this level you must be at strategic level sikit lah ya yeah? you kena berfikir lebih strategic lagi daripada yang kat bawah ni we would say more on tactical and operational ya yeah? Okay, so the why you exist and the strategy of you taking money from uh, your clients. The transaction we are talking here is money and you want to do whatever with your money is your own purpose punya statement lah. Okay, but what I'm to say is now your vehicle, kereta yang you bawa tu namanya business. The purpose is where you want to drive your car. Okay, and your financing model is like your fuel, minyak, kereta tersebut. Okay, and uh, the operating model is how you drive the car. Nak tekan minyak mana, ya? Yeah? nak tekan brake bila, nak penghantar pergi servis bila, bila dia shut down, bila dia kena turn around, uh, bila dia kena, uh, apa, apa, uh, What uh, what do you do with your car? Kena masuk. <laughs> okay, so that's more on your operating model. Driving the car. And the people who drive the car or your business is the, your resource and talent. So sebenarnya driver tu talent lah. Okay. Resources are more like the the parts that that the driver use. Contohnya, um, kalau dia bawa kereta, kan? Uh, tayar tu resource ke talent? Tayar kereta? Resource. Resource. Yeah, so you agree on that. Yeah, so you will see that if you are not the talent, you are the resource. Kalau bawa kereta, resource tu tayar lah. Okay. Resource ni kalau kalau lah dia tu tayar, kalau dia bukan human, selepas satu masa tayar tu akan haus. Lepas tu kita buat apa? Tukar. So kalau you level resource, kita ni level resource dalam organisasi, memang kita lepas kita haus, terpaksalah management tukar. Tapi kalau kita adalah level talent, maksudnya kita improve ourselves, kita adalah satu tayar yang tayar mati. Maksudnya <laughs> dia tak bancit kan? <laughs> tak, tak haus. Okay, dia tak haus lah ya. Ataupun we can grow our own bunga tayar. Okay, something like that. Okay. And then we talk about the leadership model. So all this we use organization charts apa semua. Okay, now specifically on operating model and performance model adalah scope kita di dalam this performance improvement module. Okay, kalau uh, you nak belajar-belajar lain, business model tu tu kena dia, dia dalam angle dan scope yang lain. Yang kita duduk belajar dah 7-8 hari ni, this is the part that we are using. The operating model plus performance model. Okay, any question on this? Alright, so HOD kena tahu semua ni. HOD especially purpose. Kenapa company exist? Kenapa policy ni ada? Kenapa policy-policy ni kita wujudkan? Ya, uh, Kat purpose ni, uh, policies ni selalunya menjamin semua yang bawah ni akan uh, mengikut uh, purpose. That's why we use policy. Ya, Dia tinggi uh, hierarki dokumen tu. We'll go on those, those dokumen later. Okay. A little bit uh, on this, yeah. I want the, the, the HODs to faham uh, apa beza performance, yeah, dan apa beza uh, apa um, initiative, apa beza uh, apa interventions, apa beza operations, apa beza strategic, okay? Kadang-kadang tengok dekat syarikat kita, oh ada department ni namanya strategic, apa dia buat lah. Kan? Uh, ada department ni namanya operations. Okay. So, okay. First thing first, you must understand that a company, yeah, starts from dia punya, apa dia panggil, uh, onset, yeah, dekat onset dia ni adalah dia bila dia mula, dia uh, ada satu cita-cita yang dia nak capai. This is dia punya anything dia, dia visual, apa dia dia, dia nak capai. So, the purpose lah tu. Yes. Uh, 
Yeah. While doing this, they are serving the purpose but what they want to be. Okay. Contohnya, um, uh, contohnya, um, if you just uh, drive a car, yeah, serve the purpose for you to go to A from A to B. That is just driving the car. Tetapi, if your B tadi tu is somewhere is not uh, is somewhere in different uh, world or different uh, planet the way you drive your car is different okay so for example we say here bila you run your business day in day out you are operating in a cycle one okay boleh tanya one ya yeah, boleh boleh eh uh, boleh. sorry online tak apa clear but anyway um let's see uh, if you already set a vision the company mm -hmm. already set a vision mm -hmm. um, but then towards some uh, certain extent you know uh, the vision has to be changed to commensurate with the uh, current requirement contoh eh you might set uh, by 2020 company a uh, we're going to achieve this type of uh, have this much of revenue but uh, maybe 2019 example you know uh, there are certain uh, up to unforeseen circum, uh, items yang happen so jadi uh, will there any possibility will we, or will it be good for the company to change the vision thank you for that question Kak Rod okay this is a uh, yeah very good question where I want to handle this from the fundamentals first of all vision statement is not your target it's not a target it's not just numbers vision is what you want to be okay whereby target-target yang terletak sales ke market share ke apa semua just an indicator that you have arrived to where you vision yourself to go okay so therefore uh, kita jarang guna uh, apa revenue numbers target numbers uh, as the vision statement tetapi selalunya kita guna indikator yang lebih bermakna contohnya to be the leading to be preferred to be of choice ya yeah? so macam tu baru kita letak vision statement okey uh, with that said adakah vision statement bertukar yes of course bertukar in a way when you grow you might learn something else things might happen in your business crisis happen okay um and um you will see that maybe your business model berubah okay your purpose might maintain kan then bila you punya business model uh, berubah industri berubah the whole uh, apa uh, pastel uh, the whole uh, external uh, factor berubah kalau dulu you kata you want to be the leading maybe uh, in a certain certain areas yeah to be the leading in uh, uh, kita kata uh, natural organic uh food kan maybe maybe lah ya uh, after you strength you you apa kumpul kekuatan you you kumpul kekuatan you melalui your capability after five or six years say, hmm kalau setakat organic food je maybe tak cukup untuk syarikat kita ni kita must go on a bigger size to be uh, the most uh, referred to health solution kata so what? you Ah, you will see that the changes is not numbers, it's not revenue, it's not about this. The changes is about how you go from uh, just uh, you know uh, supplying things to a bigger solution. So that is uh, apa uh, applicable. Okay, who wants to ask? Ah, uh, uh, Just to be clear, so vision has to be like uh, it has to be abstract lah. It doesn't have to be measurable. In uh, ke memang kena ada some form of measurement. It has to be generally okay vision ni must be something that when you say people can envision they must be clear yeah bukan nak kata abstract they must be clear to be that tetapi when you kata macam ni lah yeah you want to be a doctor so you vision yourself as a doctor betul tak clear tak tu 
clear lah kan ya. Ah, so uh, yeah, and you can put a, a, a timeline. Okay, so you boleh kata, okay, in 10 years I want to be a doctor. Habis, you vision. Can you envision yourself be a doctor? Can you see yourself performing as a doctor? Can. Okay. Tapi kalau you put strategically, you want to be the best doctor. Bila you letak perkataan the best, leading semua ni, semua ni akan memberi you indicator of uh, dia ada dia punya uh, milestone dan juga capstone. Maksudnya sampai, you tahu you sampai. You kata nak jadi doktor, you graduate jadi doktor, habis. Tapi kalau you kata you want to be the best doktor, you boleh imagine the best doktor ni, apa the best doktor buat. Sama lah dengan syarikat pun. If you put, you just, uh, apa, your vision is to run, then it's not the vision lah. So it has to have the qualifier that it is. Uh. So with that, you know, you must make that your vision statement clear enough for your people to get inspired to go there with you. Kalau you buat vision statement, uh, ya yeah, kita akan menjadi berjaya satu hari nanti. So, to general. Yeah, Solihin fikir berjaya lain, Yusri fikir berjaya lain, Imran fikir everybody fikir berjaya di dalam masing-masing punya konteks. So konteks vision tu kita kena fikir. Kita kena kata, natural uh, apa organic food. Ya, yeah, sekarang natural organic food tetapi bila kita sudah ada 2 3 juta community takkan food je. Ya, yeah, so it has to be a health solution ke kita tak tahu besok kita ada uh, apa pusat-pusat uh, rawatan, pusat-pusat uh, apa tu yang sebelum belum meninggal dunia tu apa kita panggil? Belum dengan dunia. Relatif. Oh. You know we have, so you know. Yeah, so you see ah, Kak Rod, the difference between you changing vision and you talking about company. It's a company revenue tu kita tak layak panggil vision lah. Dia memang kategori target dia lah. And, uh, yeah, thank yeah, you. So we, we, don't, we are not advised to, to uh, frequently change vision because it doesn't look, uh, we are stable. Uh, it looks that we are, we have we are not stable or we do not know what to do and things like that. Yeah, yeah, agreed. But sometimes, you know, um, it depends on the situation. Because um, let's say if you put yourself or the company itself, like, okay, I want to be, uh, the company would like to be the number one, you know, in 2020, for example, or in, uh, you know, uh, 2050. But then again, um, along the way, definitely there will be a lot of, uh, obstacles, a lot of things, you know, that which, which we are have to divert from that. So I agree with what Puan says. Sometimes we have to revisit back, you know, uh, after a certain period of time. Yeah, the key is, the key is revisit after a certain period of time. Do not change the course. Uh, kita tidak change our vision statement because hari ni kita make loss of 50%. Hari ni kita kena COVID, kita tukar. No, no, no. We don't do that. We do not change the cost. We do not change what we want to be. We do not change the purpose. Kita hanya tukar tactical sahaja cara kita mencapai ke sana. Get that clear, okay? Maybe yang bertukar tu kat just um, maksudnya corporate agenda ke ataupun dia punya strategic trust ke tapi kita okay. Bila kita nak cakap kita tukar vision, um, in fact vision tu jauh lagi. Macam mana kita boleh tahu kita nak tukar that vision. Jadinya hmm. maybe yang bertukar tu maksud um, vision dia orang tu yang mid term punya goal ke yang yang right. corporate agenda tu. Correct. Yeah, you and, and we change and we change the, the people, the talent that drive the, uh, our process to those those things lah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is uh, when you set up the vision. Uh, so it has to be inspiring enough to bring your people uh, towards all this uh, journey lah. Kalau tengok dekat uh, apa PowerPoint ni, we are talking about uh, how we are going there. Uh, so kalau we are talking about uh, um, that we, everybody dah buy into the vision, now kita nak kayuh pergi ke vision statement tu lah, ya, yeah? kepada vision tu. Okay, there are two parts here that kita kena faham mechanism performance itu, ya. Yeah? Ada dua bahagian uh, untuk kita uh, uh, bergerak ke arah vision. Dia ada uh, uh, benda yang operasi kita buat dan kita ada benda strategik yang kita buat. Okey, benda operasi adalah the usual value chain. Value chain, ya. Yeah. Value chain ni 
Okay, by this time, I hope semua orang yang dalam this training dah clear dah apa value chain, supply chain because we have been using it interchangeably. So, value chain ini adalah yang berpusing, beroperasi untuk ambil duit setiap hari, setiap tahun, setiap saat, dia akan bergerak. Year in, year out, what we do is we increase the target. Okay, so kalau kita tak increase the target, macam mana kita nak, nak, nak mendaki kan? So this is more on business performance. Yeah, we this is what we talk about business performance. Yeah, we use KPI and we use dashboard. So we use key planning budget indicator. Masa kita buat business plan, ABP, ABP 2020, semua department tell us what are your operation needs and what are your initiative to ensure your business the operation is effective and efficient. Kita guna perkataan ni semasa model kita sudah operate. Ya, yeah, I'm preparing you with all this information sebab soon we're going to go through a transformation of business model that will affect the whole ecosystem of Olive House. Therefore, understand apa yang kita nak measure dan apa yang kita. Okay, uh, Hafiz want to ask question? Dalam kita punya ekosistem, eh, um, contohnya um, Olifas um, yang lain-lain um, boleh uh, saya bacakan sikit sebab ada yang bukan Olifas. Um, Olifas ni satu organisasi yang di mana dalam syarikat dia ada syarikat-syarikat yang lain yang bekerjasama as a, kita punya distributor. Um, contohnya kita punya distributor terbahagi kepada lima um, satu seluruh Malaysia. Okay. Apabila kita bentangkan um, kita punya business plan ni Um, dah tentu HQ tu dia lebih atas berbanding kita punya distributor But our distributor juga ada dia punya business planning Yang di mana sekiranya mereka ni level dashboard Adakah untuk dia achieve dia punya target Mereka juga dipanggil strategi Sekiranya strategi tu datang dari atas Kita panggil strategi Tempat dia orang pun panggil strategi Adakah berlaku um, confuse uh, ataupun uh, pecanggahan Bagaimana dari seluruhan ekosistem di peringkat uh, country area manager dia dipanggil something like strategi tapi bukan strategi supaya tak confuse dengan HQ. Uh, okay. Just uh, itulah. Eh. Yeah, good. Faham tak apa yang Hafiz cuba sampaikan? Okay, kita kan banyak layer. Kita ada uh, HQ ni syarikat lain pun, di RB ke, Petronas ke, ya. Yeah. Uh, you have the 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 main uh, body syarikat. Kemudian you ada anak syarikat ke. You have Uh, you know you punya level. So when we say uh, business planning tadi tu bila kita buat uh, target setting itu kita buatlah di peringkat atas supaya bila you cascade everything will add up and uh, give to that number. Okay now we are talking about two different angle here. Pertama adalah pemahaman tentang cascading of the targets. Okay, so bila kita kasket target, memang kita kena uh, tengok uh, the accumulation, the, the the top level accumulation tu uh, siapa yang pegang ya. Eh. Contohnya kalau uh, sales uh, memang uh, HQ pegang macam tu, dan kita uh, apa kita kasket ke bawah. So walaupun number situ dikasket dari HQ, number yang diterima oleh camp ya. Yeah, Nombor yang diterima oleh the second layer ni menjadi target kepada second layer therefore mereka sendiri akan ada strategi, tactical and operation. HQ pun strategi, tactical operation dapat dah satu target, target itu difikir. Macam mana kita nak achieve this target? Strategi lah tu. Ha, jadi pada HQ, you punya number tactical. Pada camp Number situ sudah menjadi strategic direction untuk mereka. Ya, yeah, so uh, kita uh, tak apa kita faham macam ni. Apakah strategi? Strategi tu how, how? Yeah, at the level uh, yang tinggi. Uh, jadi kalau dah dapat number, uh, boleh. So even task force, even uh, group kecil-kecil, bila dia dah dapat dah sesuatu target dan dia berfikir macam mana nak achieve that target, itu sudah strategi. Ya, yeah. uh, jadi uh, regardless of the apa uh, kedudukan hierarki di dalam uh, syarikat atau di dalam ekosistem, strategi itu adalah membicarakan bagaimana, how, okay, alright.
have a question. Uh, just dalam ni ada team cam ada lah dalam ni. Ah itu ada. Cam cam ya tonggak. Kadang 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 ada. Hafiz <laughs> ada tak Hafiz? On just. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I have a question. How do we differentiate between strategy and initiative? Okay, bagus. Okay. Uh, strategy talks how. Okay, contohnya. Okay, saya bagi, uh, saya bagi, sekejap-sekejap. Uh, saya bagi satu uh, gambaran lah ya. Okay, so kita kata. Okay, alright kita kata uh, apakah strategi kita untuk uh, lose uh, lose 30kg gap, right? So ni dalam you punya problem statement kan? So you will ask how, how you nak lose 30kg? What's the strategy to lose 30kg? So strategi untuk lose 30kg, you kena tengok kan kita punya Uh, apa apakah formula konsum uh, apa kita form, formula untuk tambah uh, ataupun weight ini ya weight body weight isi katalah equivalent to what you eat input kan what you eat lagi uh, minus what you use simple eh betul tak kan weight hanya akan uh, accumulate bila you ada uh, apa that uh, energy yang you makan dan di save menjadi lemak atau otot. So dia ada and, dua. And strategi. what is flush out lah kot. What is ah, out. Tu, <laughs> what is out tu tak kisah lah ya. So dia ada dua je. So how do you uh, do the input how do. So strategi dia sama ada uh, apa uh, sebab kita punya key point lose kita ada strategi dia hanya uh, reduce intake atau increase burn kalori betul tak betul tak ni yes. so that is level strategy kau nak ais tu je senang buka peti ais kan okay? masuk barang tutup peti ais tiga cara je so the the, the this part must be uh, apa uh, clearly defined uh, sebenarnya benda yang kita nak capai ni apakah formula dia uh, yang kat situ so once you have this reduce intake as a strategy dan you tanya apakah inisiatif untuk reduce intake so you pun baik baru bagi tahu inisiatif pertama you pilih makanan rendah kalori lagi apa lagi so baru you letak inisiatif inisiatif untuk you support the strategy which one this one Inisiatif pula ia berbentuk projek, ia berbentuk uh, aktiviti dan program. Strategi masih how? Kalau you tengok ini, pilih makanan ni, you kalau tengok dia, dia strategi ke inisiatif? Pilih makanan. Pilih makanan. Strategi ke inisiatif? Uh, uh, inisiatif. Ah, okay. So, so It depends on uh, uh, how you want to put it in a context ya. Yeah? Uh, tapi yeah. kalau you dah kata inisiatif, okay, pilih makan inisiatif kedua, apa lagi? Stop makanan sihat katakan. Uh, so ni inisiatif kedua. So inisiatif ni beza dengan strategi. Strategi is how tetapi inisiatif is that program itself. The the uh, apa the project itself. Itu adalah inisiatif. Okay, uh, Imran? Okay, okay. Okay. So, kita kata strategi kita untuk meningkatkan profit dalam syarikat ada dua cara. Increase revenue or reduce, reduce cost. Betul tak? Yeah. Strategi untuk increase revenue ada beberapa. Yeah. Uh, antaranya yes. availability. Yeah. Kan? Produk availability mesti banyak atau mesti ada. So, apakah inisiatif untuk make sure produk available? Uh, inisiatif satu, uh, apa uh, strategi uh, 
uh, relation dengan supplier mana lepas tu uh, banyaklah so itu jadilah strategi uh, inisiatif inisiatif di dalam strategi meningkatkan revenue yang inisiatif untuk kurus, uh, kuruskan kos pula untuk <laughs> kurangkan kos apa jenis uh, uh, inisiatif untuk uh, kurangkan kos ni banyak example losing losing weight ni Kurang kuat kos, senang lah kan? Uh, okay, antaranya manpower optimization uh, yeah? okay. Now, you what we want to know Initiative to increase performance okay. Maka increase, eh? uh, what uh, we want to do uh, in increasing performance So kita hanya boleh tahu inisiatif bila kita tahu strategi, kita tahu strategi bila kita tengok what makes performance. Okay, uh, so that is the ni ya. Eh. So nak memahami performance tu penting supaya kita dapat. So measurement yang kita pakai sini adalah KPI, Key Performance Indicator. Uh, nanti kita akan belajar ni. Okay, so cepat-cepat guys ni eh. So In your operation, we are talking about improvement of this area. Okay, whereby this area alone is not enough for you to get here fast. This is not strategic. Yang strategic ni, apa inisiatif lain yang you buat to get there faster, better or more. Biasa kan? Maksudnya, kalaulah you, uh, apa, um, Hari-hari you okay, you target nak lose weight Lepas tu you dapat satu formula ni Formula yang uh, kurang makan saja Satu kurang makan saja, kedua pergi ke gym Itu adalah operationally done uh, to reduce weight Strategically done, do you think people who do to lose weight strategic what do they do? They can always cheat kan? Dia pergi buat liposuction kata kan? Oh. Ah, so <laughs> Okay, but not all uh, uh, strategic initiative sama dengan values satu syarikat ah, There you go, that's why you have to understand the company value, core value tu Strategic bijak macam mana kepala otak Yahudi macam mana pun tapi kalau you punya strategic you, strategic planning you ni Dia bercanggah dengan you punya core value It's not a valid uh, apa uh, strategic lah Okay so that is the difference between having strategic and having operations When we talk about performance yang kita do belajar ni More on this scope ya eh? How to increase your performance So the Olive House, the operation that we measure is the sales operation Okay, KPI yang kita monitor, kita monitor sales KPI Ya, yeah? dan kemudian kita ada specific platform yang kita namakan MGO khas untuk tengok product availability, sales performance and marketing Kan, okay? contohnya ya eh? So kita tengok semua ni, so we already align our uh, apa uh, KPI uh, performance improvement kita punya di Olive House ni dah di align kan lah yeah? So for us when we transform nanti with the new business model, semua benda ni kena transform bersama-sama Okay Yusri, so that's the bigger picture of the transformation in operations lah Dan um. pada waktu tu Maybe strategic trust apa yang kita buat dulu 3-4 tahun dulu semua dah bertukar Maybe one of the strategic trust yang kita nak letak ni adalah Already uh, in line with industry 4.0 katakan Oh lama lah cerita, bab ni saya tunggu surat je Mana boleh? <laughs> okay saya laju sikit <laughs> Okay <clears throat> Now we also want to talk about how to Uh, which variables that we want to use for manipulations of our performance Okay, banyak So kita mesti faham, sesuatu performance itu didrive oleh manusia Manusia ini pula, dia ada uh, dua elemen penting Satu internal element, satu external element 
Okay? Betul tak? Simple kan? Ha, jadi, kita kata yang internal element ni, benda seperti culture, value, belief apa ni semua, that is uh, maybe more on, uh, specifically on yang uh, apa talent and leadership punya uh, bahagian. But we want to talk about systems. So we have operating system and we have performance model for our operating system. Operating system kita adalah BMW atau Volvo atau kena sebut Volvo lah kan atau uh, what do you what car do you uh, my V yeah you will see that that is our vehicles but how you use your vehicles to achieve what you want is what we uh, use as to change performance punya results okay so yang ni is one part yes you cannot just handle this one you can handle so remember the dalam root cause analysis kan okay what is the usual suspect in root cause analysis siapa ingat the suspect of the um, human the human human leadership dia ada dia leadership mindset dengan capability uh, competency and so the one design yeah design design okey so kita design. ni sekarang yang mendesain kita punya operating model bersama dengan performance model okey so you will see here we are talking about process yeah we talk about systems we talk about task kat sini kita talk about competency capability apa semua dekat sebelah sebelah sini eh uh, kat sebelah sini kita talk about how we want to motivate so if you remember the influence model tu yang yeah. sebelah sini adalah yang sini yang formal mechanism sebelah sini role model di sebelah sini training and all cover both so that's why uh, McKinsey put that uh, influence model as holistic approach in uh, performance improvement. Yeah. So kalau you tengok ni, dia lebih kurang kat situ. What is this? This is an iceberg. Uh, apa? Di mana kita tengok ada benda yang uh, overt ni maksudnya you can see covered means underneath. Yeah. So how a people how the uh, some apa orang membuat sistem is going to be based on dia punya uh, paradigm in approaching falsafah-falsafah uh, yang dia guna untuk approach dia punya business. Okay. Alright. Um, now, this is important for U3 as well. Kita baru kayuh operating model ni pasal 3 bulan and now <coughs> we're going to design the transformation model. Okay. Uh, so make sure semua ni kita cover. <coughs> Jangan ada tertinggal. Ya. Yeah. Takut nanti kita punya transformation model ni half cook. Okay, so this is a, if you want to lead a transformation. Performance improvement is not transformational. Faham ah? Trans, jadi, kalau you, kita, kita punya operation adalah sales, result sales kita every uh, minute, every day, every mix, mix a whole cycle. Okay? Jadi, sales operation kita bila dia ada gap between target and actual, you jumpa gap. Okay. So, gap ni yang kita belajar 4-5 hari lepas tu. Situation assessment, problem statement, root cause analysis, solution. Ah, Ni kat sini. Okay, because each department, semua department uh, ada dia punya SIPOC. So, this is where your SIPOC cycle is. Okay. Kalau level business, this is your value chain. So you know that every day in and out, these are the activities that you do to add value to your organization should give us this result. However, we get these results and when we get this gap, we now solve it. Okay, so that's the context of performance improvement. However, when you come to transformation model, you are talking about reinventing this wheel. Yeah, apa going to be the new norm? What will be our new operation? <laughs> what will be our operating model? And what will be our performance model? Kalau kita transform. Okay, kalau kecil-kecil buat improvement kat department tu tak transformation. 
Okay, transformation means uh, huge that you will not be able to come to the original you. Kalau kita setakat buat weight loss program, it is yet to be transformational. Sebab cycle weight loss ni, <coughs> berapa ratus tahun punya uh, research menunjukkan 83 ke 93, saya tak ingat dah nombor tu. Setiap orang yang kurus akan kembali balik ke gemuk. Jadi dia di cycle dia gemuk ke gemuk. Anda hmm. faham tak? Sebab faham kebanyakan tak. change yang kita buat is not transformational. Lepas 3 bulan, lepas 6 bulan, lepas kahwin, masa nak kahwin tu gila 30 kg boleh turun. Selepas kahwin kita balik semula ke asal. So itu sebab bisnes seperti London Weight apa tu semua has very high life cycle. Sebab dia pasti klien dia yang dah pergi, yang dah kurus akan datang semula. Selepas tiga bulan per bisnes. Takkan kita tak nak buka bisnes itu kot? Best kan? You remember the vicious cycle and the virtuous cycle we talk uh, that time? Yes, ha. uh, dia, dia can't just that. Yes, okay. Ha, so transformational means we are going to change our operating model. Therefore, the KPI must change. Okay. Tetapi, kalau dah dalam mode operational excellence, maksudnya, you dah run and you are stabilized at that, uh, apa ni, contohnya syarikat yang mempunyai asset, eh, contohnya manufacturing. Manufacturing, dia tidak boleh mudah-mudah ubah dia punya produk. Mana boleh? Dia punya mesin tu, produce itu, produce itulah. Kan? Okay. Kalau tak ubah dia punya operating model tu, dia kena invest dalam capital lain. So, untuk uh, companies yang mempunyai aset-aset uh, operating seperti itu, mereka sangat memerlukan uh, operational uh, improvement. However, syarikat-syarikat yang lebih nimble dan agile, kita kena sentiasa Uh, berwaspada dan sentiasa ubah kita punya uh, apa uh, operating model tu sebab kita kena apa boleh uh, me, me, apa uh, nimble and agile kan uh, dia lain sikit kan uh, so you see that uh, different business will have different uh, angle uh, in performance so business seperti oil and gas manufacturing Uh, bisnes apa lagi? Uh, bisnes yang asset based lah yang maksudnya dia kena the machine Dia tidak boleh mudah untuk nimble-nimble dan ejak-ejak Dia tak boleh dah Itu je produk dia Hanya business model je kot boleh ubah Tapi operating model dia itulah ya. Yeah? Apa machine capacity yang dia ada itulah dia kena make use So what I'm trying to say is uh, Bila kita kata performance improvement on operational ya, yeah, Operational We must make sure benda yang kita nak improve itu dia sudah masuk di dalam mode cycle. Kalau benda tu dalam status pilot, status uh, initiative, dia tak boleh buat performance improvement. Sebab dia belum stabilize untuk dia buat performance improvement. Ya, dia hanya ada change. Manage change, MOC, management of change. To which by you will apa tweak here and there to make it uh, to make it uh, operate at the level that you want. Faham tak dia? Tu sebab saya ajar uh, modul ni last. Yeah. <laughs> Abstract sikit eh. So we have to understand. So bila kita buat transformation, we are not talking about effectiveness, we are not talking about efficiency just yet. We are talking about what? Crystallization, ya, yeah. validation. Ha. Kita duduk dalam uh, crystallize the process. Kita kena validate the model. Lepas dah validate model tu, baru kita kayu. So when you are in a pilot mode, kita tak boleh nak mengukur sangat lah, ya. Yeah. Dia punya uh, apa uh, efficiency. Okay, maybe effectiveness boleh, tapi efficiency tu kena come later when you already operate. Okay, uh, strategic changes are on based on this plan from work. Yeah, uh, I'm putting in this information specifically that most of us 
that join this uh, training aware that after COVID-19, there is no coming back to before COVID-19 status. Ya, yeah? maksudnya selepas tiga bulan, business running at different platform and at different performance, there's no way you want to do the same thing before COVID-19. Ya, yeah? so uh, you must study. Yeah, just give one example, just to make it clear. Yeah. Uh, what do we mean? The uh, we cannot go back to the uh, to the pre uh, COVID uh, situation uh, in terms of uh, what in terms of operational uh, things ke, or in terms of uh, the way we do things ke. Can you give one example to make it clear? The operating. I'm still talking specifically on the operating model. We must change the business model. Uh, uh, now the operating model is at stake. We cannot operate as per before. Walaupun lepas COVID-19, we can move, we do not want to be operating based on variable lama. We do not want to be doing work like before. We must write this perfect storm to operate differently. Operate differently to apa? Must be defined. How are we different from after and before? That's why I, I would uh, want the team to clearly put, define. What is before and what is after transformation? Specifically on business model, operating model, itu yang kena uh, clear eh, benda apa yang kita nak buat berbeza. How do we go to work? How do we uh, exchange information? How do we uh, apa manage information? Semua tu kena berbeza selepas COVID-19. So that is what I meant by not coming back to uh, stage one. Yeah. This is not uh, just us changing the habits. This is change the the rukun. Uh, you know the things that we have built uh, so far in the business. We have to uninstall, dismantle, pasang balik. Okay. Luckily, kita pasang pasang manusia. Jadi manusia ni dia boleh memasang diri sendiri. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Ha, jadi bila kita ada strength dengan manusia, we expect that manusia ni bolehlah dia apa uh, self driven to make uh, uh, themselves apa uh, relevant to the business. Okay. So changing on value chain, industry life cycle, you will see this. Yeah. You will see uh, apa kita agak kemuncak sebab kita ditekan oleh COVID so kita mungkin uh, apa dah uh, come to this level kenapa kita nak kena transform okay and then uh, these are all the background that uh, a good consultant must be able to access uh, business yang or company yang dia uh, yang apa serve okay Alright, uh, balancing the efficiency and effectiveness macam saya kata tadi Masa awal-awal ni kita mesti fokus on High effectiveness dulu Our strategy would be coming here and then only here Okay, so you three team on business model We want to see when you say transformation ni Apakah customer kita dapat Sebelum uh, berbeza dengan sebelum ni Kalau customer kita dapat benda yang sama aja, Kita hanya actually ubah operating model Ya, yeah, it is not uh, orang kata uh, 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 mini, uh, Orang kata apa, high size, big size of the So, go back, ask your team How will our customer experience Olive House differently? Okay Uh, and then baru bila buat performance improvement we are doing here okay uh, kita punya uh, training module ni tajuk dia performance improvement so we are talking about being more efficient yeah and of course lah effective this is rule number one lah kan tak effective nak efficient buat apa so but then we are looking at how we can do better things ya yeah? uh, better faster more do do sah do words okay And bila cycle kita dah cantik, ya, yeah, then we go to the operation excellence mode. Then kita transform lagi, kita pergi lagi. Itu cycle kita, ya. Yeah. 
Harap cycle kita bukan cycle gemuk ke gemuk lah. Kita <laughs> makin lama makin best. Okay. Alright, performance measure indicate by management to measure, report and improve. The fact about performance is what is the difference between KPI and PI? What are the difference between key performance indicator and just performance indicator and the results? So when you are driving uh, your car, you will be now looking at your speedometer. Speedometer kan? Right. So have you ever thought of what makes your speedometer uh, apa, move in that sense? How do you, when you, when you, what makes your speedometer move? What do you do? Press the accelerator. To accelerate, lah. Uh, tekan minyak. Minyak lah kan? Uh, you tekan minyak yeah. tu nama key lever. Accelerate. Yeah, namanya key lever. So what are the key levers? Uh, to indicate that you are driving your car at the right speed okay and while you tekan key lever ni there are other things that impacting the results okay so there are different here result indicator and performance indicator so i want to ask you antara rpm speedometer and fuel meter. Which one is result indicator? Which one is performance indicator? Speedo result. Okay, lagi. RPM performance. Okay. Results. <laughs> Minyak result. Okay, right. Betul. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just gonna cut this short lah kan. Kalau saya lagi lupa ingatan ni, dah, dah 45 minit dah. Dah sejam lebih. So, apa, uh, apa, uh, when you drive your car, you always look at the results here. With the actions that you do, you tekan minyak, you tekan minyak, dia punya result. <coughs> But your car performing based on dia punya capacity The RPM Okay So kalau you bawa kereta kecil You nak capai 100 Dia punya RPM pergi mana? Lajak lah jauh But you are driving high performance car You bawa dekat 160 RPM dia kat mana? So this is the balance of understanding result indicator and performance indicator So while you are monitoring the results, sales results, you must look at the performance indicator which is your agent punya performance in activities so that results dapat. So kalau you duduk cerita sales result gap, sales result gap, memang tak ada ke mana lah you punya cost analysis tu dia tak kan uh, jumpa apa-apa berbeza year in year out just imagine team sales every month every camp just talk about different lepas tu measure pula dengan tahun lepas punya i don't know what good can it get when you just measure apa check apa uh, uh, performance gap macam tu and then dalam meeting kita bincang apa beza lepas tu what is the initiative hmm okay now bila kita measure agent punya performance Dengan task-task yang kita bagi dia buat, dia buat tak semua task tu? Baru kita tengok correlation kepada results. So if you do not manage your KPI well, you been only talking about the gaps yang dekat results, you will not achieve performance improvement. Faham tak? Okay, so kerja kita bukan nak monitor sangat. Uh, uh, sales ni sebab dia dah hujung dah Ya, yeah? 
kita nak monitor performance yang menyebabkan sales itu yang kita nak tekan tu sebab masa kita letak dulu di ABP KPI agent camp ada lima je make sure ada agent baru make sure agent develop ada beberapa saja yang kita nak monitor sebab kita tahu bila kita monitor the right KPI kita dapat the right results tapi kalau kita duduk sembang result punya gap hmm komen Komen sepana. Lepas tu buat graf pula tu, buat graf pula, pie chart pula, komen sepana. Okay Solihin, you get that. Insights are not just talking about the 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 dashboard. No, we are talking about the KPI. Okay, so when we have a good automation, uh, our management will be able to look at uh, to look at the dashboard. Our managers must be able to do simulation of why, 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 do critical thinking. So they need workstation. They need data and they need ability to do simulation. So cikgu, uh, kita kena tingkatkan kemahiran critical thinking uh, dan juga analytical kat manager-manager kita. Very poor. Uh, report. Report buat apa ni? Uh, apa just kutip-kutip uh, uh, report lepas tu bagi tahu berapa orang yang hantar berapa orang tak hantar what kind of insight is that right it's not an insight at all the insight is inside the report okay and control yeah. Yeah, entrepreneur. So you have uh, the driver ni yang duk tekan minyak, duk tekan apa semua. So these people must have uh, the indicator of uh, which one is not working and which one is not. So what else we have kat ujung tu setiap pelindung. The cockpit. Uh, cockpit ni is complex. I don't like much to use uh, the con cockpit ni concept. Sebab if you are a pilot, You ada everything display dekat you punya panel. So you tweak this button, you will look. Tapi kita kita boleh kita boleh pisahkan dashboard, workstation and control panel differently. Okay, sebab kita ada organization chart di dalam kita punya syarikat. Kalau kita drive, eh, kalau kita bawa kapal terbang, tak ada organization chart tu, pilot tu pilot tu lah. Dia tak boleh kata, okay para menggari, tolong tekankan saya minyak. Dia tak boleh kata macam tu kan. Eh? So dia ada cockpit, dia seorang je manage semua. Freelance business bagus lah ada cockpit tapi organisasi tak. So you must level you punya uh, apa uh, KPI punya ni eh. Okay this is later you can read. Okay this is uh, uh, apa uh, apa case study macam mana selepas buat performance management you know semua you buat yang kita dah belajar hari tu dah buat semua the gap sizing, root cause analysis, buat the all those intervention, dapatlah dia punya results, okay. And then uh, this is uh, something that you can read as well, example lah ya, yeah, to uh, what is the difference between PI and KRI. Okay, this book, this book dia berlawan dengan book yang nama scorecard. Ya, yeah, balance scorecard. Uh. Book ni dia versus ah. Ha? So kalau you baca buku key performance indicator, you baca buku balance scorecard, dia orang ni uh, ada benda yang tak setuju. Kerana balance scorecard talks more about health of the business. KPI talks more about performance of the operation. Dalam Olive House operation kita siapa? Sales. Ah, good. Okay. Right. So this is, uh, you know, uh, KPI selalunya kita ada dua. What is the base and what is the stretch targets eh, that you want to achieve uh, in that. So we are talking also about operating limits. You nak tengok maximum, minimum and you want to be operating here. Yeah, kalau keluar daripada operating limit, you have to do interventions. Kalau terkeluar ke max, you want to have a new baseline. Okay, so when you set target, ya yeah, contohnya you set target uh, apa hari-hari you buat 10,000 uh, langkah uh, steps and then satu hari, uh, dua hari tengok duk capai 8,000, 7,000 then you start to do root cause analysis. Kenapa aku tak capai lagi 3,000 kan? You tanyalah, so cakap, oh sebab uh, maybe banyak kerja, banyak excuse lah. But 
tiba-tiba ada satu masa tu you tengok eh dah tiga hari I achieve 12k steps per day how do you uh, maintain the new baseline uh, so dia yeah, the insights lagi do we have a new baseline ke kita punya performance ni memang serabut lah uh. Bila kita serabut macam tu, kita tahu coordination, leadership, capability, semua tak cukup, semua tak strong, okay? Right, uh, lama hari ni ya, eh. sebab hari ni dia model asas. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, now, how to develop KPI? Ya, yeah? you have to uh, develop it, set up KPI team, task force, okay, and then buat KPI 3, I will show you later and then this process. So di dalam kita punya syarikat yang jaga kita punya KPI ni team Imran lah. Ya, yeah, used to be Nick last time. So then uh, apa, now Imran and Co akan uh, jaga and kawan baik dia nama dia Solihin. Okay, dan driver yang mereka kena push namanya team sales. Ya, yeah? so kita ada uh, all the sales ticket. Ya, yeah, Yusri Yusri ni macam Toto Wolf lah. Lepas tu dia ada driver dia kan. Dia ada Lewis Hamilton, uh, Valtteri Bottas. Uh, so dia ada Hafiz kat sebelah sini. Dia ada... Hafiz Schumacher. Hafiz Schumacher. Ada Saifullah. Ada T. Mazawati. Ada Ayub. Uh, so dia banyak driver. So dia kena bagi dia orang drive the right car. So driving the right car mesti drive dalam track yang betul ya. Yeah. Track dia kalau kita punya apa? Track dekat F1 kita tu macam hidung Dr. Tun Mahathir. Mahathir. Tun Mahathir. <laughs> ah sorry. Dan lagi you. <laughs> Saja je kan. So serious sikit. Tak cepat ni nak kena habis. Okay. So bila kita dah uh, dah ada the KPI 3 ya, yeah, kita cascade to each level ya yeah? daripada CEO turun sampai eksekutif sampai ke uh, apa uh, the operations apa operation buat cuma kalau level operation ni dia duduk dalam level task ya yeah? dia duduk dalam level task ya yeah? nan exec sampai tu level hmm. task so dia lebih uh, apa dia lebih uh, yes berbentuk uh, PI lah task level lah ha, nampak tak nampak tak warna-warna tu yang PI apa yang he drive KPI dah. Ada benda. Dan level session head lagi lah ya. Okay. Alright. Bukan plan head. Kita tak ada plan head lah. <laughs> uh, apa? Kalau H. Okay. This is an example of uh, 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 our KPI 3. Uh, apa? Um, you will see that Uh, di dashboard dia sini ada dia punya uh, KRI Lepas tu dia ada KPI dia uh, Semua ni uh, setiap kali uh, dianalisakan oleh Imran Dia nak tengok uh, KPI mana apa semua So we have the C-suit reporting uh, KPI to the CEO uh, Or the apa, board uh, on how they drive their team ya. Yeah? So kalau tengok kat sini semua ni berbentuk-bentuk ada PI, ada KPI ya. Yeah? So you will look at the level here you can tell which one is KPI and which one is K, uh, apa PI. So bila kita ada ni dashboard yang uh, maybe meaningful to CEO maybe level ni ya. Yeah? C-suit dia kena ada level mana-mana so you can uh, change. And for HOD mesti ada workstation kerana HOD bertanggungjawab to ensure the results of each functions delivered. Kalau ada HOD yang tak deliver dia punya function, putus value chain, maka track kita tak siap. Orang pusing macam ni, kita pusing macam ni. Pak. Kalau putus, kalau ada HOD yang tak perform. That's how our track look like. Padahal orang lain pusing macam ni. Yang kita hmm. tak habis Pergi balik, pergi balik. <laughs> okay, ke sana, ke sini. Pusing juga lah, tapi <laughs> pening lah. <laughs> Macam apa, uh, Muhyiddin sebut kan, ke sana, ke sini. Okay, so, tu lah. Okay, so this is also something that you can read. Yeah, uh, how it is being cascaded. And uh, visual management and performance dialogue ni dah uh, cerita tadi. But uh, let me summarize uh, in relation 
uh, of having uh, the performance map yeah and the value map aha kena tengok uh, apa performance ni cerita dekat operation ha okey kalau tak ada benda yang dalam operation semuanya inisiatif contohnya Hafiz camp ni depa tak operate depa kerja buat inisiatif hari-hari duk fikir benda baru memanglah satu hari habis idea dia orang yang patut dia operate tu dia tak buat Contohnya kita kata kenapa tak ada uh, aktiviti berbentuk operational dalam recruitment of new agent Kenapa nak kena berinisiatif setiap kali nak cari new agent kena buat majlis Nak yes, kena buat uh, event padahal Nampak. yang ada dua tiga orang yang patutnya buat call calling apa semua operationally How they achieve new numbers of agent operationally how they uh, develop uh, the uh, apa, agent to become uh, consultant so these are the things that we talk about operation kegagalan kita beroperasi menyebabkan kita duduk di dalam mode uh, inisiatif sepanjang itu yang itu itu yang jadi macam tu tu bila start kali meeting you're talking about uh, ada program baru uh, strategi konon macam strategi baru dan sebagainya uh, yeah. that been uh, presented by our our friends our hmm. team right hmm. itu itu maksud you tadilah yeah. so instead they should be talking about uh, a one two three four things uh, they have to do every day every week like discipline religious itu baru dapat results ya contoh kalau kita kata uh, kita nak lose weight uh, kalau kita uh, tak buat the apa rutin yang membakar kalori dan mengurangkan input of course anyway that is typical human yang kita tahu manusia ni uh, that's why kita kena ada konsultan tu sebab konsultan ni wujud kerana Uh, changes ni kena selalu ditolong, kena selalu dimotivate. Uh, okay, kalau semua orang pandai boleh handle diri sendiri, tak payah ada cikgu, tak payah ada konsult, tak payah ada konsultan. Tapi sebab manusia ni dia selalu patah balik, dia tak transform, dia hanya apa tukar uh, mengikut mood dia, maka uh, then it's a mode of transform. Okay, with that I would like to close uh, today. Yeah, the content and skill we put together. Uh, to make our uh, those who go through this program understand about uh, performance improvement. First, kita faham apakah yang kita masukkan di dalam konteks performance. Maksudnya for us to measure performance, dia mesti dah aktiviti itu berbentuk operational. Makna kata kita ada data untuk berkali-kali benda tu berlaku. Okey. Kalau kita baru buat sekali baru, kita macam mana nak ada data? Macam mana data kita tu nak jadi uh, a real uh, 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 reliable data for us to uh, validkan dia sebagai kita punya gaps ya. Yeah? So, ini yang kita faham hari ini ya. Yeah? For you to do performance, it must be under operation. So, kalau you punya track putus tak payah nak nak buat root cause analysis dah tahu dah kenapa benda ni gagal track dia putus tak payah nak root cause analysis sangat tak payah nak workshop workshop facilitation sangat tak payah pergi je cakap minta maaf saya gagal <laughs> Okay that's rule number one Okay kemudian dah tahu dah performance operation kita tahu uh, the key performance indicator versus key results indicator Okay, kita buat situational assessment untuk tengok overall results kita dan macam mana KPI kat dalam ni impact the results. So kita belajar first day kita belajar dulu pasal human. Ya, yeah? uh, yeah, because you need all this data kita dah belajar dah pasal tu and then we belajar to do situational assessment. Uh, making sense of this uh, apa uh, konteks yang kita nak buat performance improvement ni keempat daripada SA ni gap ada gap gap tu kita belajar problem statement okay and kita buat solution okay. kemudian solution tu kita design supaya ia change people for good ya yeah? cita-cita lah that's the aim okay whether it happens or not is different story what are the root cause and <laughs> which will end up coming to the most core which is human 
You buat lagi pasal human you jumpa Human ni ada mindset You buat lagi mindset so you pun kata Semuanya terpulang kepada hidayah Allah <laughs> Don't go that fast eh? <laughs> Don't take over uh, apa God's job Okay so do whatever we can at our level Okay dah tu kita pun belajar solution ni kena implement Bila kita nak kena implement kita kena buat project management dan kita kena manage change. Betul tak? Okay. Yeah. And kita belajar. Ha, untuk kita manage change ni apa semua kita belajarlah facilitation technique. So that is all the six module yang kita dah belajar so far. Yeah. And um, and tomorrow turning data into critical information and presentation with uh, impact. Hari Jumaat tak ada kelas, hari Sabtu tak ada kelas, hari Isnin baru ada kelas Kita nak masuk kat bab sustainable, sustaining change Okay? So esok ada kelas? Esok hari ah? Jumaat kan? Esok Jumaat ah, Besok, eh esok Kamis, eh esok Jumaat lah Esok Jumaat ah, Okay lah <laughs> Esok so, es so Isnin lah, we do ah. Isnin kan? Oh. Uh, Isnin kita buat sustaining change Sabtu tak ada kelas, esok kita so, habiskan Esok kita habiskan ni lah, satu lagi ni Presentation uh, Presentation, uh, esok kita buat uh, turning data so Same yang time ni, eh? same time uh, ni uh, Same time, 8.30 Yang ni important sebab saya tengok banyak lemah sangat HOD kita Bila minta report, boleh pula dia bagi table dekat dalam report tu Table tu pula dia copy daripada Excel dia resize ikut dan dia masuk dalam powerpoint. Come on lah. Kan ada degree kot. Mana boleh buat kerja macam ni ya. Especially HOD. HOD lah kalau buat kerja level ni lah geram betul. Rasa nak potong gaji tinggal seribu lapan ratus je tak? Sebab nak kena ajak semula. <laughs> Penat rasa. <laughs> Sama level masuk macam fresh grad tu bagi. You understand that? So important lah besok kita belajar uh, what would be uh, technique to present all this uh, to the management and macam mana nak letak insights insights graph mana nak guna okey takkan nak pakai modal bar graph before after before after alah kan so uh, lepas pada training ni tak nak dah jumpa lim lim punya report eh? saya takut jadi macam <laughs> apa bila ustaz dapat report kita, dia rasa sangat kecewa sampai dia tak nak beletiak. Itu paling bahaya. Kalau dia beletiak lagi, okey. Kalau dia dah tak mau beletiak tu, we better be careful. Okay, alright. So, okay. Habislah. Dua jam hari ni. 